What is up everybody, it's your boy Slint, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today's gonna be a little bit of a good one for me. I don't know how much about you guys, but I'm really gonna enjoy this little fun. Right now I'm gonna be opening up a brand new synthesizer that I've been I've been waiting for for about a month and a half, and I finally got my hands on one. We're gonna open up this brand new synthesizer by the guys at Sonarware, called, Sonarware, called the E. LZ1 or the Elza one, however you want to say it. So we're gonna unbox it, take a first little look at it, and then I'll talk a little bit about it before I do some review, a full review and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Don't worry, the synthesizer was not in the box, so no synthesizer would hurt in the the film in the box. There's not really in the box. There's only like a couple little bit of documentation uh, telling you about the synthesizer, simple stuff like how to power on and stuff like that. It is brought to you from the people over there in Japan. So this is a brand new synthesizer out of Japan, which is one of my favorite places in the world, by a guy named Indo. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, y U Indo. I can't. I'm, I'm bad at names. So sorry. Um, really cool dude. I follow. I'm putting all his links in the below. So you can follow him he doesn't a lot of he's showing it off a lot and all this good stuff but yes it's a pretty dope synthesizer and all the good stuff so yes yeah, a brand new synthesizer he made it by itself and now his, it's in manufacturing his process and then, yeah that's just documentation which we don't care about documentation it does come with a carrying case as you can see there's a nice little carrying case a little pouch type thing you know kind of say you but this is the synthesizer right here there we go look at that the E, the Elza one or E Z L one, E L Z one from the guys at Sonarware. So yeah, as you see, it looks dope. It, it looks like the I already know you heard these look like the OP one, but it's not nothing like the OP one because the OP one is a workstation. This is a synthesizer, full synthesizer with a ton of stuff in it. So yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and probably switch the camera in a little bit and just take a deep dive in it and you know just kind of you know go over it first impressions and yeah you know. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so here we are looking at the Elza one or the the, e, the ELZ one. As you see, very small, portable style thing. Oh, I hit the, the camera and did that, but very dope. And you know what it is? They see it has these uh, key bed up here. Um, little bit of clicky keys like buttons. It got four and four rotary encod encoders. Um, they're pretty loose, like they're. They're pretty loose. I don't know. I think I've seen a video where people swap these out for different encoders. So I think you can just pop them off and put your own in there, of course. But yeah, these are very loose and they just kind of slide around. So, yeah, I mean, this is what it is. You got different buttons up here. You got some memory. So I guess it'd be like your presets, save presets, octave up, up or down, menu, okay, tap tempo. If we look on the back, we have a headphone volume knob, which let me focus in on it real quick. Yeah, do a little focus. Boop. Oh man, I'm bad. You got a volume knob right here. So you can test for the headphone. You got the volume for the left and right. Yes, this is a stereo unit. It's not mono, it's full stereo, which is pretty cool. Aux in because you can actually record sounds into here via like a dynamic microphone or something like that. And, you know, do some granular synthesizer synthesis because it does have a two granular synthesizers built into it. You did, you have USB, which is USB with MIDI and you do have a DC power port. So you can, you know, boom, blah, blah, blah. I'll plug it up and keep jamming but it's also battery powered four batteries and this bad boy will be up and running and it is fully portable which is dope so let's just slide it back over i'm gonna plug everything up real quick and then we're gonna turn it on and do our first initial test of this thing okay so everything is plugged up so i'm gonna turn it on and see what happens there you go press and hold Ooh. Oh man, the screen's a little too bright, so let's just adjust that brightness a little bit. There we go. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see the screen, but you know, I'm sorry, I just got a little glare to it. Maybe if I turn off this, nah, uh, just bear with me, but I'll probably do some close ups and stuff like that later down the road. Who knows? Videos, whatever, come through it. Yeah, maybe later. But yeah, here it is right here. Um, uh, let's see, do, 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 turn my headphones up. There we go. pretty dope this is a six voice synthesizer so you know not four not one not mono it's 
polyphonic up to six voices would have been nice if it could go to eight but i guess that made the price a little more but maybe it can add more voices who knows um i know he's, he's still working on this and he's still updating it he just brought up a new firmware which i'll do a video about that after i you know play with it and all that good stuff so this is firmware version two right now so yeah so he's going to be updating this constantly on the forums and all that i'll leave the links to that all that good stuff so the first button we have are like basically our synthesis modes and you use this button to change it when you click on a button it changes between the different things and you use the type button to go to swap to them so we got all the way down here we have a low bit oscillator and it's got different way shapes and like i said each thing corresponds they got one through four encoders and there's four buttons right here that tell you exactly what each one do And if you want to go into extra menus because there's like two dots or multiple dots right there you click it again and it swaps to another menu so that's kind of cool if you want to go through different things i can do and do eight bit right now do four bit even do two bit so that's cool that's just the low bit rate the low bit oscillator which is more for like your chip tune uh you know kind of old school type of sound nes all that good stuff so we also got standard oscillator which is just, you know, normal stuff. Pretty cool there. And then there, there, custom oscillator, which allows you to mix different oscillators together. So I can, you know. So crazy possibility is there. Then you got a eight bit wavetable. And it's come with different wave tables, stuff like that, none special there, wave table synth. Then you have a uh eight bit wave table morph, so it'll morph between everything. And you can change the cool there. You have a wave table FM. So, I mean, a lot of possibilities with this synthesizer. Do you have a granular synthesizer or a DNA, which I would have to record something in here to play with it. Which I'm, I'm going to play with. This is kind of an initial thing right now, but we'll definitely play with it later. Do you have another granular synthesizer? <laughs> so i mean crazy right there then you have the old fm synthesis with different algorithms which i'm really gonna dive in this so i can change the different algorithms by going to i think down here yeah so i can change the algorithms so full-blown FM synthesizer right there. So any of you D7 people, DX7 people right there, I mean, that's going to be dope. I can't wait to mess around with that and kind of learn a little bit more about FM synthesis. Then we have this kind of noise synthesizer, and then we have this sand flute. And yeah, so I'm going to deep dive into those later down the road, so don't worry. So let's go back to the standard... Next we have our ADSR, so you know you can do like some. So that's cool right there, and you got different types of ADSR, stuff like that. Then you got your filters, and you know, you got different filters. So you got, you know, your standard low pass. High pass, band pass, frequency, which I don't know what this, what does this do? Oh. You know, got some cool, just got some different, you know, filters right there, I guess. <laughs> cool little sleeping graphic monster stuff. And I think if you go into it and you hit OK, it show you the actual, like, frequencies too, if you don't want the little monster things there. Then you have the effects, so it has multi multi effects, which you can't really see. I, I hate the glares on here, so I can, can we just tone that down a little bit. 
And that's the best I can do. I'll probably punch in or whatever for you guys. But it has different effects. You got drive modulation. You got modulation delay reverbs. And these all can be used at the same time. So if I want to add a, let's see, I'll click here or down, change the. Change my stuff, change my, change it all the way up. And I go to reverb, change my reverb to, let's see. So yeah, and you got more effects going down. And you can change it from poly mode to mono. So you got mono mode. And then you got legato. So pretty cool right there as well. And then last you got an arpeggiator, which you know you can different modes. And if you hit OK, now it holds. So yeah, pretty cool there. So yeah, I mean, it's, turn that off. Whoop. Bring that bad boy back up again. All right. So yeah, that's, I mean, first impressions, initial sounds type of thing. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video where I'm gonna go through different presets. Like I said, you just hit the presets up here and she go here and you can sift through all the presets. I'm gonna go through a video doing nothing but the presets again. <laughs> So you can see what it has. I think it has over 127 presets. So 127 presets already built in. Of course, you can add your own, customize them, blah, blah, blah. Save that. That is dope. So I said I would be doing a video where I go through all the presets. I'll be doing beat making videos with it, you know, testing it out, you know, doing some outdoor type stuff, testing the new firmware, all the good stuff. So if there's anything you guys want me to check out with this synthesizer, please let me know in the comments below. That way I can, you know, do my best to cover all the bases about that. And right now, I think this it's going to be around between $400, $600. So portable, different synthesizers built inside of, I mean, it's pretty cool. So I can't wait to get my hands on it some more and then give you my full overview, my full review of this product after I get more time and actually have more, more fun with it. So with that being said, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, a.k.a. Miss Different, not motivated by money, but like, subscribe, and views. Hope you guys enjoy like always. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.